The glass furnace was secured at the top by means of four Strangex L450s and positioned at an elevation of 41 meters. The Strangex were connected to the top of the blast furnace, ring A, by means of L450s fixed anchor housing. In the meantime, the blast furnace was cut almost at its bottom line, leaving ring E laid on its foundation. Fajoli tensioned the system to take the load around 10% of the assembly weight, rank A, B, C, and D. Client executed a circumferential cut at the bottom of rank D. Once the cut was completed, the L450 strand jacks increased the load in steps of 20% until total load was equal to 319 tons for each jack. The whole assembly was lifted of approximately 1 meter. The bridge beams were shifted to the final position and connected to the skid tracks and to the towers. The skidding assembly structure was skidded onto the rails and positioned under the ring D. Partial load of the blast furnace assembly was transferred onto the roller beams. Client cut the ring D at height of 6.2 meters and approximately weighting 400 tons from the blast furnace assembly. After the completion of the cutting operation, the assembly ring A, B, and C were lifted approximately 1 meter. Fajoli slowly started to skid the ring D outside the blast furnace area with rear side pulling jacks used to restrain the movement in case of unexpected sliding. Once ring D reached the external column and before the elevator system, Fajoli stopped the operation and checked the alignment of the skid pathway and the transition piece. Fajoli moved the trailer fully equipped with transfer beams under the elevator structure, ready to receive the ring. Ring D was skidded onto the elevator system up to its final position, ready for the lowering operation. The section was then transferred onto the storage area. Fajoli executed the same procedures also for ring C, B, and A. The assembly sections were lowered onto the roller beams, the section cut and transferred onto the skidding and elevator system. Once ring A, B, C, and D were removed, ring E positioned at ground level was cut into smaller sections and taken away. Ring E, weighed in 592 tons, was transported from storage area to the installation point. 
the elevator girder were lowered to the ground level, ready to receive the ring to be lifted. Fajoli connected the fixed anchor housing at lifting beams of side towers A and B and started lifting the elevator girder up to 50 millimeters from the bottom of ring E. The ring was slowly skidded towards the blast furnace area onto the bridge beams. Fajoli connected the four 450 strand jacks to ring E, lifting brackets by means of fixed anchor housing. The item was slowly lifted up to 50 millimeters above the roller beam level. Fajoli disconnected the real L15 pulling jacks, towers J and K side, from the skidding beams and removed the restraints of the bridge beams at tower G, H, J and K. The bridge beams were opened to the final position at approximately 4 meters by means of secondary transversal skidding system. After this operation, ring E was lowered down to the foundation. For ring A, Fajoli performed the same operation of ring E, but once connected to the strand jacks, the load was lifted at the height as to allow the skidding of the next ring. From this phase on, ring A was kept suspended waiting for the next sections. Ring A was connected to ring B. The assembly sections A and B were lifted. Fajoli performed the same operation for ring C, 291 ton, lowering ring A and B in order to connect the three sections. Ring D, 284 tons, the last one, was lowered onto ring E by second set of four L100 strand jacks, positioned at 20 meters high and secured at ground level. Fajoli executed the lowering operations for the assembling of ring A, B and C. Total assembly weight 1051 ton approximately. Up to 50 millimeters above the top of ring D. Once the items were properly aligned, Fajoli started to lower the assembly A, B, and C to ring D. The load was gradually released in steps of 10% until strand jacks were completely unloaded. <laughs>